What's up, Fight Fans? This is Anna here to do another boxing analysis. This analysis is between Abner Mares versus El Selmo Moreno. El Selmo Moreno, this guy, he's a pretty good boxer. He has good skills in the ring. Um, you know, he's number one ranked right now at Bantamweight. If you guys don't know who he is, you need to wake up. You really need to wake up. He's one of the most unappre unappreciated boxers out right now. And it's because a lot of things. Language barrier doesn't speak English, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, he just signed a four fight promotional deal with, you know, with Golden Boy Promotions, which took a while, you know, but he finally did it in August 2011. Um, he's from uh, San Miguelito, <coughs> Republic of Panama, you know, Panama. Uh, he is currently WBA Bantamweight Super Champion, and he has retained his title. Are you guys ready for this? This is why he's ranked number one. He's retained his title not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six times. So when you retain your title six times with only one loss, and this was your loss was like I don't know years ago, like years years ago, that lets you know he's really you know mastered his craft after that loss he knew he had to go back to the drawing table the drawing board and um this guy really can punch even though it doesn't show on his knockout uh, resume but he really can punch um he beat Vic Darcheny in the unanimous decision he beat David De La uh, Mara in a nine round TKO stoppage from destroying so many different combinations and he caught him with a punch he did not see, and that's what makes a uh, one-punch knockout artist or anybody who has skill uh, scary is they have that one punch that can change the whole fight. That's all it really takes. Um, I see Anselmo Moreno doing well in the beginning rounds. Abner Mares, he's going to do his thing as well. You know, he has a very good style. He can box. Um, he, you know, has that style, you know, that Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico style coming forward. Um, he's undefeated professional boxer. He's not looking to lose at all. He's coming to win and take the title and, uh, you know, further his legacy, you know. Um, this guy is no chump. He really can fight. Um, he has really good skills in the ring. He has good body work. He can throw uh, three and four punch combinations to the body and then come back up with a left hook. As one of his most powerful punches is his left hook. Um, he has a really good right uppercut as well that uh, people forget about. Um, he's coming off a win in, uh, I think it was April, April 21st. He had a win against Eric Morrell, which was a very, very, very good fight. Um, he beat uh, Jose um, Ebeco. The guy from Ghana twice, which was pretty impressive to beat somebody twice on that caliber of level. Uh, he beat uh, Vic Darchinian pretty easily. Did his thing in that fight. It was a tough fight. I'm not going to say easy. It was a pretty tough fight. He had a draw against Johnny Perez. So he has credible people on his resume for his division as well. He has not fought any chumps lately. And, um, you know, he won the WBC title. So I'm pretty sure they're going to you know, unify the titles in this fight to, you know, dispute who is number one bound for bound in that division. And uh, the fight is going to be just uh, amazing because the style, styles make fights. You got Abner Mars coming forward, you know, he's going to throw his little combinations of a double jab, which he uses a pretty good jab <clears throat> in the middle rounds, beginning rounds, he uses jab a lot. And then he tends to want to fight a whole lot in the last ending part of the fight, which he doesn't really have to, but I guess that's just his style and <clears throat> his mentality. Um, you know, the guy has 13 knockouts with 20, you know, 24 wins, so he can punch as well. Um, he's more of a combination puncher, gets you out of there. He can hit you with a one punch, but Selmo doesn't have a weak chin, so it's going to take way more than one punch to get him down. Um, I see this fight going to decision. Once again, I don't see it being a TKO stop. I see it as a decision. Um, both fighters have pretty good defense. Uh, 
Uh, Selmo, like I said, he's a he's up there with the Guillermo's with the come the master boxer type thing. He has a great, great footwork, great timing. He has a great jab as well. Um, I see uh, Abner because of his kind of starting off a teeny bit slow sometimes. I see him losing the first probably two out of three rounds. Then I see Abner coming strong in the middle rounds so when he starts to heat up, you know, a little bit. I see him winning those rounds, and then the very end is gonna come down to stamina. And I just really feel that uh, Abner, you know, he's the bigger guy in this fight. You know, he's five foot five inches tall, and I think his overall size will be too much for Selma Moreno, and he will stop that streak of uh, six, you know, six defended. Uh, I mean, retaining of the title, you know. Of the WBA title, Bantamweight title, so I see I see Abner is winning in a 12 round uh, unanimous decision. Uh, it be it's still it's still gonna be a close fight though, and if it does, if if it's Elmo Moreno, because this is top level boxer, so I cannot be biased. I have to you know do the analysis accordingly. I feel that uh, El Selmo Moreno could win just by jabbing. Stand away from Abner. Don't exchange. If you don't exchange with the boxer puncher, you can win. You just have to box and use your footwork and don't sit on the ropes. And if you are on the ropes, you got to, you know, put your ego to the side and tie up, man. And if he does that, he will win and be 34 and 11 with one, with one loss. But if he doesn't, I feel Abner Mares, you know, and it's going to be a whole bunch of Mexicanos yelling, going crazy in the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California that night. So I don't know, man. I really feel Abner got this by decision. I, I do. I feel that he's gonna, you know, throw a lot of good body punches, slow uh, Selma Moreno down. You know, punch to that thin body of Moreno. Uh, use a good jab. Um, use his footwork. He has pretty good footwork. And he's gonna use his uh, one, two, three. You know, one, two, and then a left hook. He's gonna throw his one, two, three, four. That's like one of his famous combinations. One, two, three, four. Um, he has a pretty good right hook to the body too. He throws from time to time. He has a good overhand right. He jabs. Throws an overhand right. He tucks his chin really well too. So I really think he's gonna pull through in this fight. And uh, I mean, when I say the bigger man, I'm just saying like Abner, like muscle wise and you know solid wise, he's more solid. And Selma Moreno, you know, uh, Chamito, he's five foot eight. He's a long, long body for the Bantamweight division, you know. So I just really feel that he's going to do his thing in this fight. I got Abner Morris winning by unanimous decision in the Staples Center. So you guys tell me what you think. Do you think that Selma Moreno is going to use his angles? Throw his jab out there, pawn with the jab. Move to the side, you know, block off Abner Moraz. I mean, I mean, Abner Moraz's attack and counter punch him while he's throwing his four and, you know, five punch combinations, his one twos. Or do you think that, you know, the body work early for Abner Moraz is what's going to carry him to a win? Because that's what I feel. So that body work early is going to carry him to a win in the later rounds and he can throw his combinations and get off that. And Osama Moreno has really good head movement, so he's really going to have to pressure him so with his aggressive style but yeah you guys tell me what you think in the comment section below Abner Moraes for the number one spot in the Bantamweight division with Selma Moreno who is retaining six times remember that six times so let you know he's a great great boxer it's gonna be a great night of boxing you guys do not miss it do 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 not miss it alright this is Ant reporting